in Toledo, Ohio, to stand with the Jeep workers here to uh, support them in their efforts to get decent wages, decent working conditions through a labor contract, which is a legal agreement between the company and the workers. And out of an, our entire country, three places were chosen, one in Ohio, right here at Toledo, one in Michigan in Morency, and one in Missouri. And so we are one of three showing to the country how one goes about negotiating a better way of life, a better salary, better working conditions, better benefits, health benefits, retirement benefits. These companies are earning billions and billions and billions of dollars. And the workers who sustain injuries, who come in every day, work 10, 12 hours a day, they deserve a fair share. And they are negotiating what that means today. And they want to come in at the same level. They don't want the younger workers to be paid less. The young people who are trying to raise families. We just met people here this morning who've been moved here from Belvedere, Illinois. Their plant shut down, they made the Cherokee, and their relatives are sick, they can't be with their families, but they're working. They have a very strong work ethic. You must treat workers with respect or America will lose the urge to work. And when the value of work diminishes, this country diminishes. So we have to reward work, and that comes in the form of the labor contract. And, and this strike, uh, a strike like this, is historic. And are you? What are your thoughts on about what happens next? All right. Well. Definitely this is historic and it's part of Toledo's history. The United Auto Workers, and I hold this badge, our mother helped to negotiate the first contract for the um, uh, United Auto Workers here at Champion Spark Plug back in the 1930s before there were labor contracts. Worked with Victor Ruther and Walter Ruther, the founders of the United Auto Workers. I am from a UAW family. Our father retired from Jeep in 1969 for health benefits. He was ill, he was worried about his family, he was getting older. The people that work in these plants their work is their livelihood, it is their life. And so the labor contract is critical that they earn a decent wage, right? And I'm very hopeful that with the leadership, the new leadership of the UAW and working with Chief Stellantis, that we will be able to have a labor contract here that can be a model for the nation. They're negotiating it now. We in Congress are supportive of that. Next week as co-chair of the Auto Caucus in Congress, we will do a major meeting of our members, bipartisan members, along with the company and with the unions, just to get an update to make sure that we're doing everything we can to help reach resolution. And, and along the next resolution, this is your district, like you said. Are you worried about how the impacts of the strike will will do and do do in the region? Well, I think that I obviously we worry for our community, we worry for the region, we worry for the country. But I think the UAW has been very judicious in choosing a walking strike and keeping people at the negotiating table. That is a very um, wise first step, I think, in view of the situation in the country right now. Uh, but they are strong and they are firm and they want a more a, con a labor contract, fair wages, fair working conditions, decent benefits for all workers on one plane, not three different planes. So I think what they're negotiating for is very fair and frankly the company has tens of billions of dollars that they can help to pay the people who are actually producing the product. So they should be able to, to, to meet these demands. I think they should be able to meet the demands. Let's let's uh, the people that are negotiating on behalf of the company let they let them put in the same hours that these workers do and reach resolution. Anything else you'd like to add to that? Well, just that the government of the United States is very supportive of the domestically based automotive industry in our country, and we helped. I voted to help refinance a Jeep back in the uh, 10 years ago, 15 years ago. Uh, we now have companies that are making billions of dollars and able to invest in their own workforces. And I hope workforce development as we transition to a whole set of new engines, 100% powered biodiesel tractors and cars and uh, hydrogen powered trucks and uh, electric powered vehicles and conventional engines. I mean, we're going to have a lot of choices in the marketplace and we're going to need workforce training in order to have the most agile workforce in the world. And I want it right here in Toledo.